So this is looking right down the middle there. There was a lot of stuff over here. There was a, there was a big chunky stuff right here. There's still some cobwebby stuff, uh, this stuff here closer to the lens. Um, but yeah, that's looking better. This is just kind of a mess. You know, I mean, it's, how do you describe this? It's, it's, this is technically called cineresis, but it just, I, t I was trying to describe it to Steve here and I said, it's kind of like if you had a bag of those Halloween decorations, uh, that, that sticky cobwebby stuff that's just kind of all over your, uh, the front house there. That's what this stuff looks like. And I also said that this stuff is not my favorite, you know? So, um, the first, the first shot of the laser, I don't know how to quite prepare you for it, but you know, it's basically that and then that. And then we just, you know, rinse and repeat and just keep doing it. So when I hit this stuff, you'll see it kind of bounce around a bit. Um, you know, every shot of the laser is a new decision because things move. Uh, so you just, you can't really pre-plan this treatment and you can't use software. You just have to like fire shot, make a new decision. Go to the dense area there. We'll go to this dense area here. And you just start going in there. Hi, Dr. Johnson here. So I wanted to stop uh, the video for a moment and take a look at this image over my uh, right shoulder here. Uh, this is an illustration of a cross section of a human eye. And what it shows is the laser energy profile that comes in uh, through a contact lens that I use and comes in in this cone shaped pattern. It's only delivering energy at one point in space. And that's far superior to the traditional lasers that most people would think of, where you have a single beam of light that uh, no matter how clear or how close or how far away it is there, it's always one single beam of light. Well, that would be a problem if you miss your target. Well, I don't miss my target, other people might. But the point is, is that it's only delivering energy at one point in space. I know where that is. I'm keeping it safely away from the retina and the lens. And that's uh, how I'm applying this laser energy. Uh, it is a small amount of energy. It takes hundreds of shots, uh, usually on, uh, on multiple treatment sessions. Uh, Steve here, the patient with this, these floaters, uh, it's a mess in there. As I mentioned, uh, it is a, uh, just a diffuse disorganized, amorphous, uh, massive, cloudy floaters, and really not something that most people would think could even be treatable. How do you treat that with one single point of energy? Well, you just have to do a lot of it and break that down. So uh, next slide, we've got uh, right at the beginning of the procedure, and then over here, we have uh, about 17, 18 minutes into the procedure. It shows that picture to be a lot clearer. Uh, what it doesn't show is some of the floaters that are out in the periphery, some of that are further back and out of the, uh, out of the range of focus. And so um, I don't want to be deceptive and say, you know, we're done, it's clear, there's a lot more work to do. But what are Steve's options? Uh, there's do nothing, which he's been trying his best, and that's not working out very well, because it's not getting better. Uh, choice number two is the laser, and that's what we're doing here. Third choice at the further end of the spectrum is a surgical vitrectomy. That's problematic because it has a nearly 100% rate of causing cataracts. Some floater sufferers are just not ready to take that on. And they come to me because they're trying to avoid that vitrectomy. They're aware of it. They want to try to avoid that. And most of the time, I can make it a lot, lot better with the laser. Um, and so that's what we're doing here. Uh, Steve, in fact, is coming back uh, in another hour or two uh, for some follow-up treatment, treatment number three. Um, and it should be a lot, lot better. Still probably have a lot of work to do. But if we can avoid the vitrectomy and he's satisfied with the results and uh, we can do it in a safe manner, um, kind of win-win. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, to help get it out there, to help other people find me, uh, like everybody else, it's all in the YouTube algorithm. If you hit the like button, please leave a comment. If there's anything uh, that you would like to see me do a, um, um, a video on, I'm open to suggestions. I'm going to try to get a little bit more active back on YouTube again and get more content out there. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.